Well, today, dozens of people gathered near the summit of Mount Tom for a solemn remembrance of a military plane crash. 22 News reporter David McKay was there for the 70th anniversary memorial service of the B-17 bomber crash. On July 9th, 1946, a converted B-17 Flying Fortress bomber carrying 25 servicemen home from World War II crashed into the southeast side of Mount Tom in Holyoke. It was the darkest stormy night. Now, 70 years later, a memorial was held again for those lost. Officers aboard, there were public health service people aboard. There was one Red Cross worker. The plane had left Newfoundland and was headed to Long Island where it was to be decommissioned. It was supposed to make an intermediate stop at Westover and Chicopee. At 10.30 at night, while circling for a landing at Westover Field, the plane swerved into a rock outcropping on Mount Tom at about 800 feet. Down below, there was about 4,000 people in Mountain Park where there was regular entertainment. Fireworks were planned that night. And they said no fireworks because we're of the weather. So we still stayed, they still had the rides going and all of a sudden we heard this explosion and they, somebody said, oh, they are sending out fireworks. And we looked up at the mountain and the flames and it was heartbreaking. Crews that first came to the site of the crash said that the flames were so intense they had to stand 100 feet away before they could do anything. Residents in the city of Holyoke said they could see the explosion as far away as High Street. Wreckage was found strewn across the mountaintop, some of which is displayed here today. But amidst that wreckage came some hope. When the plane crashed, my, my um, uncle's ring was found, the ring he always wore, was found here at the site, uh, and it was given to my mother. Uh, she had it and then she gave it to me when I was a child. Uh, I wear it, I always wear it up here, and I'll give it to my son when, uh, when it's time. The B-17 memorial had been unveiled during the 50th anniversary in 1996. My father always said my brother's still on the mountain. This 70th anniversary was the first time for one family member visiting. Well, the day that our family got the news of the crash, uh, I was only, as I said, three, and I was, I remember everyone in the family crying, and there was a lot of upset and chaos, and I didn't really understand. So being here today is like, this just happened for me because I never had a chance to grieve before. Yet while grieving, still finding solace and looking to the skies where planes continue to fly by. Mount Tom changed from being a place of tragedy and mourning to a place of uh, honor and remembrance. It was a major life change for my mother. It means everything to me. I had no idea that the people in this community cared so much and that they still still remember this and they keep this beautiful site. I, I'm just I'm really grateful. In Holyoke, David McKay, 22 News.